Hi and welcome to the Insight My Life channel. So today I want to cover some of the most common exam P study products, guides, books, uh, you name it. I've done a ton of them and I'm going to give you my opinion right now. So the first one, the Actex Exam P Study Manual. So if you're wondering what manual to buy, now I can't really speak for the ASM manual, but as far as the Actex manual, it's a very good manual. I would say that I would strongly recommend it over just getting like a textbook or something. I would say that the major pro of this book is that it does have a very good coverage of the exam P syllabus. And it doesn't necessarily cover everything, but it does cover the majority quite well. And it's also very easy to read and understand. What I've noticed with a lot of textbooks uh, is that they tend to be very uh, symbolic and then in the way that they write it it's not very clear and intuitive and I really like the style of uh, Broverman the author he's very easy to understand when he's conveying a, a principle and it's just it's really not that difficult um, the way he breaks it down so really like that I would also say it's a very good bargain it's a hundred bucks so if you compare this to the risk manage uh, uh, risk Management by Hassett, the little red book. I would strongly recommend this for $100 versus the red book. Uh, and the other thing that makes this a good bargain is that it actually comes with 10 practice tests in the back. So that's that's awesome, you know, because with the exam P, you want to get as much study time and practice time as you possibly can. So again, there are plenty of practice problems. So along with 10 practice tests, so already, you know, that's 300 problems just from 10 tests at 30 questions a piece. There's so many practice problems. Um, there's also the SOA problems that he has, and then there's also his own problems that he has created in there. And they're just, I mean, you can't go wrong. If you want a lot of practice, then this exam P study manual is definitely going to get you the practice you want. Now some of the cons I would say is that the tests, the practice tests are not actually representative of the actual difficulty. I would say that the practice tests, there are some that are very hard and kind of close, but in general I would say that the most of those tests are a little bit easier than the exam piece. So you just be aware of that if you do get this. I would say also that the tests don't actually accurately reflect the test questions. Um, I mean, there's a there's a lot of good questions mixed in there, but as on the whole, I would say that it doesn't really give you the feel of the of the actual test. And I'm sure that's very difficult, you know, to really pinpoint it. But there are certain things that I just I didn't feel were very uh, very reflective of the actual test. And I would say that it does also uh, going back to the pros, where it has a decent coverage of the exam P syllabus. There are some things in that are not included in the book. Um, that are not covered like tips tricks different things you know there's also I well for instance I won't say but I've heard you know people say that they had things like the bivariate normal distribution in the past and um, you know in Broverman in the Actex exam P study manual I noticed that there really wasn't a good coverage of the bivariate normal distribution so yeah that's just as an example book here this was a common one that um, I've noticed a lot of my friends and even myself have owned this one is the probability for risk management so I used to recommend this book but upon uh, just an overview of the other study materials I've used I would actually not recommend this book so let me go through the pros the major pro I would say is it does give a good overview of the exam P syllabus I mean it covers everything very lightly very very briefly and that kind of leads us to the cons its price is a little bit steep because it, the Actex study manual has all the practice exams, detailed explanations, and it's it's just more hefty for the price. You know, a hundred dollars is pretty steep for this little book. If you see it, it's very small, and the Actex study manual is like a tome. You know, it's huge, and again. It has a good overview of the syllabus, but it also inadequately covers the exam P material. If you were to just read this red book as your only thing for exam P, then I would almost certainly tell you, you won't pass. And again, that goes along with the fact that it doesn't give enough detail. It doesn't have enough elaboration. It just lightly touches on everything. So the, it doesn't give detailed solutions and that leads 
me to the next point is that the examples are too easy. They don't have enough explanation and depth so that when you, in the book it has the SOA um, questions, the ones that the, the SOA actually puts out. I feel like by the time you get to those, you don't actually have enough uh, weight behind you to actually really understand them and complete them. So that's just my opinion on that one. I really, I wouldn't recommend it.